Jesse Wilson. Okay. So tell me a little bit about your car. I got a 93 Dodge Stealth. It was uh, originally the base model, non-turbo car. I did a full twin turbo motor swap. I had to change all the body wiring harnesses throughout the entire car. Um, I used the all-wheel drive transmission, uh, converted it to front-wheel drive, and I have the uh, Quaife limited slip diff in there. Um, I did a full fiberglass interior, uh, fiberglass stereo, uh, six-point roll cage, uh, custom carbon fiber door bar covers, um, lights all over the thing, inside, engine bay, underneath. Um, basically nothing on its stock anymore. It took me about, about three and a half years. And I did all, all the work myself except for the paint work and then the roll cage. It never ends stealth on Facebook. I got a full page set up there with uh, all my modifications, awards lists, and all the shows that I've done. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit up Dub uh, in Ocean City in August. Okay. Hope to see you there, man. Yeah. Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. How you doing, guys? I'm Brian Fox, Fox Marketing. I'm here to show you my fleet of Lexus that I The first, we're gonna start with my 2011 Lexus CT 200H Hybrid. I took the car, supercharged it, doubled the horsepower. It's now 300 horsepower. Instead of 42 miles a gallon, the CT gets factory. It now gets 45 miles a gallon. I know that because I just drove it 40 miles on a test drive yesterday, and that's what I got. So this car is a handmade Y-body kit. So I start with a rendering, and that's usually how I design the cars first. And then I worked over with uh, R. Miller Auto Body and Paul Meyer PA. So he kind of took my vision and canvassed it for me. So all everything's all handmade, as you see. The color of the car is BASF. This is Cinnamon Quartz Pearl is the color. It flips from candy apple red, has a little bit of orange in it, uh, a little bit of gold, and it has a uh, green pearl on top. So the car has uh, 20 by eight and a half inch uh, iForge Insight wheels with a 235-35 Toyota T10, T1R tire. It has a bare 13 inch four piston caliper in the front and the suspension is road magnet. It's a 1.5 inch drop in the front and a 1.2 inch drop in the rear. The interior of the car is Yonaka I run a Ronin racing seat. It's black leather with red stitching to match, to match the exterior of the car. Pretty much a wrap of the CT. Next car I have is a 2011 Lexus LS 600H hybrid. Uh, what I did was I blacked out the grill had uh, the Artesian Spirits uh, body kit from Japan. That kit retails for about like $7,000. So we got that, installed that, and then uh, got a controller for the factory air ride, which now lowers the car zero to five inches. We did a 22 by 10 and a half inch uh, rotor form. It's called the BBQ wheel. Uh, candy copper center powder coated with a chrome lip. Upgraded the brakes to SSBC. They just took the factory brake, sent it up to them. They polished the caliper, crossed over and slotted my rotors for better braking. The interior is bone stock. It's all leather, suede, 7.1 Dolby Digital Sound, 19 speakers, sub. It's loaded. The car's 120 grand, pretty much. It parks itself too. It's pretty cool. Next one is a uh, 2010. Lexus, uh, this is the IS350C. I just call it the ISC for short. I did a handmade uh, little splitter in the front, changed the color to BASF, it's called Foxy Green. So uh, that car has F Sport big brakes in the front, uh, Yonaka 36 way adjustable coilovers, custom supercharger utilizing the Pro Charger P1S blower. That car makes 405 horsepower on the dyno, that's 100 horsepower gain from factory. Did a, uh, all I did on the uh, front of the car here was I changed to the big family ISF. So we did ISF front fenders and side skirts, uh, wide bodied out the rear, added a classic design concept uh, light bar to the car, kept all factory cream white interior, and then took that cream white accent and integrated that into the bolts of the car just to kind of bring both uh, color integrations to work with each other. And that's basically, uh, oh yeah, and that's for cap back exhaust to make sure the power goes out the back end. So. That's all right.